I was working on that 433 megahertz uh, radio receiver and I needed a circuit that <coughs> acted in a certain way so when a, um, a radio signal is received on the 433 uh, megahertz receiver it has to say switch on or off that doesn't matter a relay and that circuit is here and I derived it uh, from um, one of the circuits of my books and that's here this is by the way the key circuit uh, on which the whole um, relay circuit is based in this circuit I have used the BD139 because uh, the situation here was that uh, there was a quite high current flowing through the relay that was necessary and here is the first driver and here you can send in an AC signal and when the circuit receives an AC signal the relay is activated. So contacts are made or contacts are uh, broken. That depends of course completely on the relay that you want to use. Anyway, this is important. Very small AC signal here. The relay sticks to a certain time and that time is set by the value of this capacitor. So with a 2 microfarad capacitor it is perhaps say 1 second. But with a 220 microfarad capacitor the relay clicks and is activated during say uh, 30 seconds or so. You have to uh, test that experimentally. And because I had, had a relay here that had an internal resistance of 700 ohms, DC ohms. Uh, I did not have to worry about a big, say, uh, end transistor to drive the relay. And I could use simply a BC547B. So in this circuit there are two BC547B transistors. Um, and the final transistor drives that coil of the relay. So, perhaps to show it better, this is in my case not a BD139 but a BC547B. Because of the high uh, ohms resistance of the relay. So, I uh, want to demonstrate the circuit. Uh, it's important to tell that the relays, the relays unit is driven out of this tiny transformer and uh, I've talked in an earlier video about the problems of that. I don't repeat that here but anyway perhaps it's uh, interesting to tell that out of that tiny transformer there is 30 volts DC. And this circuit works on, say, uh, 12 volts DC. So I had to use here a resistor, a series resistor, to drop the voltage somewhat. And you can also do that. Uh, I've used here 1K to the relay circuit and another 1K to the relay circuit. So they are in series. Uh, together they are... Uh, 2000 ohms but uh, of course when you don't use a tiny transformer and have a stable output voltage of say 9 volts or 12 volts this is no issue anyway I want to demonstrate it now here is a kind of beeper that I made and that beeper is activated with the relay contact and here is the doorbell 
circuit, the doorbell unit, that work sends out a certain frequency on 433 MHz supplied by this battery and when we push the doorbell button the relay is activated and the beeper starts to beep. The time during which that happens is set by this capacitor value. So that's this capacitor value in the circuit, in the schematic. This one sets the time. Uh, push again the button. It starts again. And I want to take out now that a uh, big capacitor that is uh, 470 microfarad. Switch it off now so that we only have that say tiny capacitor here of 2.2 microfarad. Let's see what happens. So now the time is very short. I push here and the time is very short. Of course you can also operate a relay um, in such a way that when it's activated you switch uh, the supply voltage via one of that switches to the relay. So it holds itself <coughs> in a certain position and that means that such a beeper for instance uh, beeps for hours till you say uh, deactivate the circuit uh, by detaching the supply voltage for a small moment with a push push button switch. Anyway, it shows a good circuit in my opinion. I've tested it true and true. So it's reliable, you can use it for all kinds of other purposes where you want to activate a relay um, that must be driven by a certain AC voltage, could be everything. Say an audio signal, uh, this signal out of the transmitter Another signal amplified, uh, for instance, uh, in a room, uh, when you have a microphone there, the microphone amplifies a certain sound, and when there is sound in that room, the relay switches. And you can have, say, kind of alarm signal, or an other activation, switch on a camera, etc., etc. Of course, nowadays all these alarm systems are extremely, say, elaborated and also very cheap. But uh, uh, whatever, it's an interesting circuit.